Hello y'all, this is Jennifer with Women Loving Jesus. Thank you for watching. And today we're with Proverbs 3, 9. Honor the Lord with your wealth, with the first fruits of all your crops. So this is basically talking about the income you have, the salary you have. Your crops equaled money. If you were in part of that farming society, which was very common back then. And this is saying with all the money you get, all the wealth you have, you need to honor him with the beginning of it. Don't give him, oh, I have a quarter left over. You know how you give tips sometimes and you pay and there's a quarter and you give that as a tip is, is what's left over. He's saying you find you figure out from the beginning. No, I'm going to give you a dollar tip right from the beginning and then add how much it is to that amount. I think one way that this was really brought home to me is I remember my brother was in sales and very generous heart started helping out people. You know, he even helped me out before. And I would notice that he would help out someone and he said, no, don't worry about it because I know God will bless me. And it was just this intriguing thought. He would help out somebody with an amount of money. And it was amazing how a sale would come out of nowhere that almost covered what he gave. And I kept seeing this over and over again. And then it just inspired me to like, I'm going to give to God because I know that he will honor that. And even when I had started the business and financially it was very tight, I made sure that I gave a tithe out of what I had. You know, I only had $50 the budget. Well, a tithe was going to come out of that. And the Lord started just making sure that I always had the right amount of money. Now, at one point he was making sure I didn't have a dollar extra, but he provided for me. And then even now, I don't have a regular stable salary. It is a little bit up and down depending on the appointments that I have and who shows and who does not show. But he will honor and bless me as I continue to give. So I actually challenge you. I think it's a little difficult nowadays is everybody has direct deposit in their paycheck. You don't even notice how much you get. It's going to be there no matter what. But I challenge you that maybe your salary will not change because you have that consistent change. But I challenge you, if you start to give, see how the Lord may give back. And maybe it's not an increase in salary. Maybe it will be. Maybe it will just be blessings in different ways. People will, will buy your lunch. You will get um, a gift this way. Or, and don't do it for the gifts, but just to see how God honors you if you honor him first. I pray that the Holy Spirit took these words and will be helpful for you today. And thank you for listening.